हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो यू होप यू हैड अ वेरी गुड सक्सेसफुल एग्जाम टू दे फॉर कॉमेड के ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट फर्दर डिटेल्स अबाउट हाउ योर रैंक्स विल बी कैलकुलेटेड फॉर कॉमेड के राइट एंड दिस ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड इन द कॉमेड के इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्रोशर एंड एज पर दैट इन द सिलेबस फॉर कॉमेड के वॉज दैट यू नो इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड थर्टी थ्री परसेंट क्वेश्चन एंड द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट क्वेश्चन राइट सो आउट ऑफ एवरी थ्री क्वेश्चन वन वॉज फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड टू वेयर फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ राइट एज पर द सी बी एस ई सिलेबस राइट सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू फर्दर इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन हाउ द रैंक्स वेर कैलकुलेटेड बिफोर दैट एज अ नेक्स्ट स्टेप टूडे वी हैड एग्जामिनेशन एंड टू स्लॉट्स राइट सो एंड द प्रोविजनल आंसर की विल बी पब्लिश्ड ऑन थर्टीएथ मे राइट दैट इज ट्यूजडे that is the schedule or calendar of uh, you know events which will happen so publishing of provisional answer sheets will start and uh, on 30th may and then you will be given time to basically raise objections right and in case you find any questions uh, doubtful and you want to raise a concern then 1st june is the last day right so for raising the concern thursday 1st june will be the last day to raise an objection and you, to raise an objection you will have to log in to the comet k portal and then you will have to pay the fees of 500 rupees right as an uh, uh, object raising fees and then it will be considered by the jury and by 6th of june that is next tuesday right uh, publishing of the final answer key will be there so in case any change in any certain answers are there that will be published with the final answer key and 10th june will be when the test score will be made live right and that is the calendar which is the provided as per the you know the brochure but uh, i think now the, the test results may come on 12th of june as well which i heard you know seen somewhere right so 10th or 12th right it will be test scores and the ranks will be created so now i'm going to cover how exactly this ranks will be created like you know uh, in case of the same you know uh, marks between two candidates right so there are a, a set of comet k tie breaker rules right so first rule is that uh, they will check about the high percentile scores of physics and maths taken together right so students who they, they will add the score of physics and maths and higher the marks you better will be your ranks so that will be the first criteria the second criteria if 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 the marks of physics and maths are same then they will consider the maths of maths the student who has got the m- m- better marks in maths will have a better rank that is a criteria number 2 and then the third criteria is the high percentile score of chemistry right so higher the marks in chemistry then those students will be ranked better in the uh, you know comet k ranking now if all the mm, things are same in the even the marks in the chemistry is same the last criteria which will be used will be the age of the candidate so elder candidate right the higher the age will have the higher rank so basically the younger candidate will have a better rank right so if you are younger with the same a uh, score of chemistry same score of you know maths and the high percentile of physics and maths taken together then the fourth criteria or the last criteria will be age of the candidate so you know younger candidates will have more better rank so this is the information as given in the comet k brochure and that is how the ranks will be published and also i have made a separate video on comet k ranks uh, versus marks so you can check that and i'm giving the link in the uh, description box also so that you can def- understand your ranks which is possible thanks for watching and best of luck to you and uh, uh, please subscribe channel to get similar important updates on all the comet k related you know counseling procedures etc